All right, thank you, JC. And like JC just told us, and if you've been outside, you know, it is cold. And that can also be dangerous for our pets. News 3's Madeline Parker joins us now. Madeline, why is it so dangerous for our pets outside? Well, Julie, dogs especially have higher body temperatures than we do. So if it's too cold for us to be outside, it is definitely too cold for them. And what can it do to our pets if they're left outside too long? Well, it's kind of hard to say because different size breeds, more hair, less hair. But generally speaking, it's about if it's under 20 degrees outside, it can take 30 minutes for things like frostbite or hypothermia to set in. So general rule of thumb, if you're going to be taking your pet outside, take be as quick as possible and make sure that you're only going outside whenever necessary. If your pet is especially is especially susceptible to cold, maybe put like a jacket or a coat on them to keep them warm. But if your pet is an outside pet, make sure their shelter is well insulated and getting plenty of warmth or just bring them inside. Even have them outside, bring them in, make them part of the family, put them on the couch in front of the fireplace. Then you know they're gonna be fine. They're not gonna suffer any hypothermia or any kind of uh, frostbite because this little guy deserves to be on the couch. And to check for signs of frostbite, check out your pet's paws. If they have any discoloration or if your pet is in pain, make sure to call your vet. And now, Julie, I think this is a really good time to bring this up, especially when it's super cold like this. If you see like a dog or a cat running around outside that's lost, make sure you call animal control or the police because they have the resources that they can get those pets to safety, unlike somebody like a shelter. Wow, okay, good to know and a good reminder for everyone. Thank you, Madeline.